Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my review of the Intel Processor Diagnostic Tool. So the purpose of the Intel Processor Diagnostic Tool is to verify the functionality of an Intel microprocessor or CPU. The Diagnostic Tool checks for brand identification verifies the processor operating frequency tests, specific processor features and also performs a stress test on your processor. This software is available in both 32 and 64 bit binaries on all versions of Microsoft Windows starting at Windows 7 all the way up to 10 as well as Server 2008 and Server 2012. If I scroll down there's also a long list of all the processes that are supported by this diagnostic tool. So we have server based CPUs as well as desktop ones as well so we've got low powered atoms all the way up to Celerons as well as your i3s, i5s, i7s and then if I go back up to the top we've got your Xeon based which are server based CPUs. I'm now going to download the executable and show you how to run the diagnostic tools on your Windows machine. Now that the software has finished downloading I am now going to install it. So first I'm going to double click on the executable file and I'm going to click run. Now I'm going to click install I'm going to accept this user account control so I'm going to click yes. Yes I do want to continue. And the files are now being prepared to be installed so I'm now going to click next. I'd like to modify because I already have it installed. This is just a demonstration. Next. Yep, next. Yes, I do want to allow this user access control again. And finally, the installation has now been completed. So I'm going to click finish. I have now got the Intel processor diagnostics tool running on my Windows machine. So let's take a look around the interface. System info and CPU features. So under the system info we've got one processor which has been dissected which is correct. The processor name is Intel Core i7 which is a 2600 CPU which is a second gen Sandy Bridge processor which is about 8 year old now as this recording and it currently has a default clock speed of 3.40 GHz then we have some more processor information processor usage number of physical cores which is 4 which is correct because it's a quad core we have number of logical cores which are 8, then we've got CPU temperatures which have not been run yet. Well it was partially run because it automatically runs the software, the diagnostics tool runs the stress testing as soon as you run the software but I stopped it so it's sort of made a start of a maximum temperature of 44 degrees C 
and 38 degrees C. Then below the temperatures we've got graphics card information which is a discrete graphics card. In my case it's a, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti which is a non-Intel GPU which is true. The graphics tests have been disabled currently because it's not being run. The operating system I am running is Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit. It also tells you the current BIOS version of my motherboard as well as the system serial number. Then next to the system information tab we have the CPU features which lists all the things that are featured in the processor and these features are also going to be tested as well during the diagnostics test. Then next to this panel we have the results panel which just tell you what features are enabled and what's passed but I'll show you that in greater detail once I've run the test. Then next to the results we've got config so you can basically run various different programs and stress tests but I'm going to leave them alone as default then under the where it says test completed we have test summary which is just a full list of all the results as well as CPU temperature monitor and CPU information I am now going to run the test. As you can probably tell this is going to take quite a while due to the fact that my CPU is 67 year old and it's not the most snappiest thing in the world. So what I'm going to do I'm going to leave this running for a little while and then I'm going to do a cutaway to the results so you don't have to sit all the way through the test. As you can see the um, stress test and diagnostic tool is now completed so let's go back to the uh, interface and have a look at the results so we've got system information which is just exactly the same as before we've got CPU features so it's basically telling me what features are enabled and what are disabled so these are them here as I say, not all the features are going to be uh, current due to the CPU being 7 year old. Then here we've got the diagnostic tools um, results test or results to the test I should say. So all these things that have been um, tested for, it's come back and passed with flying colours. Then down here where it says test summary, we've got all this information here. So it's a genuine Intel CPU. Broad string, it supports that. It's got cache. It can do prime numbers. It can do floating points, of course. It can do math. Then we've got CPU load and frequency, which is passed, as well as, uh, well as other things. And then here we've got some information about the CPU that's been discovered during the test. And that's pretty much it. That concludes my review of the Intel Processing Diagnostic Tool for Windows. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
and also click that bell icon so you get notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.